this. It would take it's a lot of work to make slugs, but as you see, it's very easy. It takes very little time and it's straightforward. First you have to build the molds from some casino token or coins. These molds don't have to be that great. They didn't spend much time on them. The molds are made from plaster of Paris where they can find at any building material store. Just add water and mix to a consistency of pancake batter. They laid the coin on any smooth sealed surface and poured the plaster right over it. It takes a half an hour for it to set. Then they would just lift it up, carve around the token, carve a half moon as for the opening for where to pour the lead, and two insert holes to align the mold easily. Sometimes they slice to allow air to escape. Then they laid the mold down and poured more plaster right over the top. Wait another half hour and carve out your pouring hole just big enough to allow the lead to pour in freely. Back then lead was very easy to come by. You could get it at any salvage yard. Sometimes they sold it in sheets and they could just cut the slugs right out of the sheets of lead. Any stove in a pot will melt lead. Even a hot plate with some carried in their cars where they could pull up anywhere that had an outlet and make slugs. It takes about five minutes to melt the lead and quickly pour it into your mold and it hardens and cools immediately. Pop open your mold, remove the extra lead in your inlet, and press though you had a slug that most machines would accept. It's straightforward. Slugs on a more sophisticated level actually look like real tokens. Rather than being crude approximations of the size and the shape of a token, some were good enough to actually cash in. The casinos were ending up with more coins than they started with. Stay in touch for next week's video on stringers and clickers where they just took a piece of dental floss, super glue, and a quarter of yo-yo the machines. Most people believe the razor blade took care of the stringers, but find out the secret on the next video.